In this tutorial, we're going to learn some simple formatting so that we can improve the look of our graphs in the bio and album, and make them look good for documents and presentations. In our previous tutorials, we learned how to create some basic charts for time series and current value series. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make those look like some of these examples. Let's look at the current value series we added in a previous tutorial. Most of the formatting that we routinely do on charts and series is available by right-clicking on the chart. Let's start by changing the chart title. To do this, I select Edit Titles from the pop-up list. When I do this, I am taken to an interface where I can change all kinds of aspects for the chart title. This interface comes up to work on the chart title by default. But also, it can be used to change things like the chart footer, or subtitle, and so on. I can see the editable text, and I can change that to what I want the chart title to be. So for example, I'm going to call this chart Reactor Suspended Solids Profile. One thing you may have noticed while I was doing that is that BioN updates the charts on the fly in the background. This is very useful for learning how to format charts. For example, suppose we don't know what the chart subtitle is or where it will go. So we could select the subtitle, ensure that visible is checked, and start typing. And we'll see where the subtitle will appear. So we can see that's right in the background underneath the main title. So I'm just going to turn that off for a moment by unchecking the visible box. Next, I would like to make the font a bit bigger, so I'll click on the Text tab and click the Font button. This takes me to a standard Windows font selection interface where I can choose the font, its style, color, and size. I'm going to keep the font as bold and set the size to 20. There are many other aspects of the title we can change by exploring this interface and noting what happens in the background. For example, I can change the position, left, center, or right. I can add effects, so I can uncheck transparent here and add a frame around the title. I can maybe give it some color. I can make the frame round, I can apply a shadow, and so on. This concludes our tutorial for changing a chart title's properties. Please see our video library for other tutorials on basic chart and series formatting.